Hello to all my kingdom builders. My name is Denzel Rodriguez, and I'm just out here helping moms build wealthy kingdoms. And today I'm going to answer a question on my YouTube channel, which is, hey Denzel, is it okay to do a HELOC with the same bank as your mortgage, or would you rather us go to, you know, like a neighborhood credit union, your local credit union? It just seems it would be easier just to transfer funds. Thanks. And that was by Random Turtle. Pretty cool name. So, easy answer is if you have a mortgage with a bank, that could be a local bank, a major bank, credit union, non for profit bank, federal bank, state, whatever. If the bank offers, a HELOC or personal line of credit, that would be the first place that I would look when I'm getting ready to start applying the velocity banking concept. Why not? I already have a relationship built with the bank. I've got my mortgage there. I may have a checking or a savings account already there with them. They know my pay stubs. They know how much money I make. They pretty much know everything about me. So you might as well start there. So if you have a Wells Fargo uh, mortgage and you are coming across the Velocity Banking concept for the first time and you're like, oh my God, this concept's amazing. I need to do this. Hey, Wells Fargo does offer HELOCs and they do offer personal line of credit. So my suggestion to that individual, that person or, or the person asking the question is yeah start there because it would be easier in fact to transfer funds it would be and your odds of approval do increase I would say um, but on the other hand if you have bad credit and you have a mortgage but you have bad credit I would first try to get your credit score up to a certain rating that that particular bank would like to see. And this is information that you can grab from the banker before you apply. You know, so before you just jump into this concept and go start applying and getting denied everywhere like a lot of people do, first I would say check your scores, see where you stand financially check your DTI see what it's at is it over 50% can we get it a little bit lower can we uh, make some moves can we can we transfer some assets maybe we have checking accounts at all these other banks that aren't doing us any favors if we just brought all of our money to one location right the the banks like to see cash assets they like to see a good credit score they like to see a decent DTI you know they like to see good things before they just approve you for this revolving line of credit or a HELOC. So the answer is yes, I would try that, see how it works. And worst case scenario, you do all the right steps and you still get denied. Best thing to do, start off with a secured line of credit or if you can get a credit card unsecured to start rebuilding and reestablishing your credit that is going to be the very next step that i would recommend to people that are trying to get this velocity banking thing going my name is denzel rodriguez i hope you have a wonderful day and god bless